All right, folks, thanks for checking out the video. I want to talk today about Donald Trump in a town hall with Fox News host Sean Hannity saying that he doesn't think Joe Biden will make it to the 2024 general election. So from the Gateway Pundit here, says Hannity asked Trump if Biden will be the 2024 Dem nominee. Trump responds, I personally don't think he makes it. Uh, Trump did a town hall event with Sean Hannity on Tuesday night and answered questions on a wide variety of topics. One funny moment came when Hannity asked him if Biden is going to be the Democrat nominee in 2024. Trump pointed to Biden's frailty and said he doesn't think he'll make it, drawing laughter from the live audience. Now I'm going to play a clip of this and then we'll talk a little bit about it. So critical of Joe Biden. And of course, he is struggling cognitively. I can't think of, in the last couple of months, any appearance that he has had where he wasn't either mumbling or bumbling or stumbling or having no clue where to go, where to exit. Now, my question is, do you think in 11 months he will be their candidate? I personally don't think he makes it, okay? I haven't said that. I'm saving it for this big town hall. I've never really, I personally don't think he makes it. I think he's in bad shape physically. Do you remember when he said, I'd like to take him behind the barn? If he took me behind the barn and I went like this, <laughs> fall, I believe he'd fall over. I believe he'd fall over. And who knows? Who knows? Who knows? But, but it was okay. And by the way, it was okay for him to say that. He said, I'd like to take him behind the He could say that, and everyone thought it was so cute. If I ever said it, they'd say, He's a dictator. He's a horrible human being. You know, it's a whole double standard we have, and not only in the law, but just about everything else, as you know very well. Um, I personally don't think he makes it physically. I watched him at the beach. He wasn't able to lift a beach chair, which is meant for children to lift. You can lift him like that. Uh, and mentally, I would say he's possibly equally as bad and maybe worse, but I don't know. I will say this. He's got vicious people surrounding him around that beautiful Oval Office, there are people in that Oval Office that are evil people, bad people, smart people, young, vicious. They're communists and they're bad. Who, they're, who do you think would replace them then? Uh, well, I saw one person on who I actually had a very good relationship with, but I'm sure that it would end very quickly. I saw him in your debate the other night and he's slick, but he's got no facts. You know, he's got no facts. Uh, I thought he did well, considering... You're talking about Gavin Newsom. Yeah, considering that... He didn't have the facts. I thought he did well. You know, he said, <laughs> we have the lowest taxes in the country. We have the cleanest streets in the country. We're... And I'm saying, wait a minute, is he talking about the same place? <laughs> so he'd certainly be one. I guess they say that Kamala would be uh, the one, the odds to be. Okay. All right. So that was Donald Trump at the town hall with uh, Sean Hannity in Iowa. Now, I thought this was interesting. Um, clearly, I think I think uh, Donald Trump is using this more as a way to bring more, even more attention to Joe Biden's uh, not only physical frailty, but uh, his declining mental faculties, okay, to put it mildly. Um, I personally think Joe Biden will be the Democrat nominee in 2024, you know, despite all of those things, because evidence shows he's he, even though he 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 may not be the favorite in the 2024 election, he still polls better than any other Democrat candidate. Now, Donald Trump mentioned uh, Gavin Newsom. He didn't say his name, but he was referring to Gavin Newsom. Uh, I've even heard some people say that they think Michelle Obama is going to come in and, and be the Democrat nominee. Um, I, I really don't see either of those situations playing out. I, I think the main scenario that's going to play out is Joe Biden, come hell or high water, is going to be the Democrat candidate in 2024. Now, Gavin Newsom, I think, wants to be president. And think, you know, he thinks very highly of himself, thinks he should be president. Um, but is he is he going to risk? pushing out an incumbent president, running and losing against Donald Trump, and then and then his political career would pretty much be over, okay? Whereas if he sits this one out, 
And he might even be personally hoping that Joe Biden loses because then that that gives him a clear lane going into the 2028 election. OK, which is when I think he really wants to run and will run. OK, I think that's a, I think that's a virtual certainty. That's five years from now. Obviously, a, a lot of things could happen, but I, I do think on the current trajectory that is likely to play out. Um, Michelle Obama. I don't know, man. I don't I don't think she wants to be president. Her and her and Barack Obama are living high on the hog. And I don't I don't think for a second that they they want to leave the cushy position that they're in right now. So again, um I, I, I do believe Donald Trump is using this, like I said, more more as a line of attack uh and and, and to bring even more attention to uh, Joe Biden's physical and mental condition. Okay. Does he really think Joe Biden is not going to be his opponent in 2024? Well, I don't know. I don't know. But but again, this is this is just another way that uh, uh, D- Donald Trump can use humor, but also make uh, an important point here. So in any case, that's what I think. Let me know what you all think. And as always, we'll see you on the next one.